bike too? <laughs> Bikes. What you mean two? Nah, I'm not into bike. Like bicycle, bicicletas? Nah. Riding bikes or nah? Apart. Are you into riding them and taking them apart? <laughs> no. Neither I mean, am I. I used to ride it, but I'm done riding it. I don't take them apart. I don't take them apart. Nah, I ain't no bike mechanic. <laughs> That's not my thing. I, I can't. I don't have a bike. I, I noticed that these, some of these people got some really nice bikes. Yeah. I, I don't know how that. Not this piece of shit. But that was a piece of shit. Yeah, I know whose it is. <laughs> Yo, did you see the thing he got hanging in his his crib? Yeah, the boxing thing. Nah, the like swastika looking thing. Oh yeah. I asked him about it. He said it's the it's the four F's. I was like, four F's. I was like, fuck yeah. You forget me. He said, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you. <laughs> I was like, all right. It yeah. looks like a swastika to me. Yeah. Definitely a four tablet. So I run this back. You just want a free hey, Danny. free week. Danny. Nah. Hey, oh, oh. I got some vice clips. Yeah, that's cool. Whatever. All right, it's bet. Get, right, you got five dollars? No. All right, you got two dollars? You can just pull that straight out. You can't break it. You, you can't break it. Alright, you got a dollar? You just need like a little squeezer. Danny, you got a dollar? No, see, you, you, if you wipe what it. What the fuck, you fucked it up? All you need to do is get that bitch out of there. I just need a little thing and pull it off. They gotta be plants. Barry. No, no, no. Oh, sweet. Oh, sweet. I got you. I got some um, vice grips if you want those. Right here, y'all. Yeah. Alright, y'all. Got you, player. I'm buying down t shirt. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You said you had a paper strawberry. I did. You want to get it? Yeah. Hell yeah. Fucking sashay. <laughs> sashay your ass and get them papers. How's you going to just get three weeks? This, what do you think? This is America? Yeah, this is America. Oh, shit. Show is. Strawberry just asked for just three weeks. Hey, you got any weed? Yes. I got papers. And... That's, that don't sound equitable. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. You can put them down. Got your fingerprints on your thing. Are you looking for the joint? That's, yeah, strawberry about to. Uh, wow, you wanted to hit it? All right. Maybe beer. The beer that's. I think we need to ice that beer now, Danny. It's been sitting in the warmth for a while. All right, bet. Let's do it then. I mean, if it's ice, it's ice, I'll put ice in the ground. All right, I'll, I'll hit you after we roll that thing up. Yeah, no, I, I, I'll be out in the All right. Yo, what's up, Strapper? Huh? All right.
excuse me. What's your name again? Hope? Taz. Who? Taz. Nah, nah, your real name. Cassidy. Cassidy. Nothing? Doing laundry? What's up, buddy? How you feeling? Good. All right, good. So you just wanted let's. No, I got my own papers. Don't worry about it, baby. So you wanted let's just get the uh, request here. Big head, get over here. You was gonna take your whole show home. I already got the papers. I don't need the paper. You need the weed. You keep repeating yourself. Making me have to repeat myself. I don't like repeating myself, Mario. Hold your hand up. Understand your frustrations. You don't need a lot, right? I don't know, I see that joint. That's cool. That's cool. That's not a joint. That's, cool. That's a weak ass joint. Why you Thank on? you. Hold on. That's not a joint. No, that's a joint. Give me that back. That's a joint. All right. Sweet. That's a perfect joint. God bless. <laughs> God bless. You believe in Jesus? Oh, really? What's that religion called? It's called Buddha. You know what? I was going to give you a different option. I thought I had... Yeah. I can't find it. Damn. I can't find it. Find my stuff. You know, half the battle here is keeping a hold of your items, you know? There it is. Oh, I found it. It was a little blunt. See that? Danny said he wanted to smoke some pot. I want to at least help Danny out. Because he don't really smoke weed that often, so... It don't take him too much. No. You got a lighter? No. I said I have papers, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <all> right. <laughs> when you gonna roll it up? You, you said a different option. You want to roll it? Oh, you want this? You don't want it? No. Do you want it? No. I say oh, oh, this. Negative. I respect that. Yeah. Damn. I gave you the option of. I would have selected what I had over this. Unless you didn't know how much you were going to get. Then what would you have said? If I said, all right, I'll give you a little bit out of here, or I'll just give you this. I'll meet you like Sunday mornings, Mario. You would have taken this? You don't need a whole lot. Huh? I don't require a lot. So you would have taken this? I, I'm happy with like, what you gave me. No, no. That's over with. That's yours. Oh, so it's okay. So separate deal. Separate, separate. Total separate, separate deal. Total separate situation. Total separate uh, situation. This contract's fulfilled. Okay, cool. Yup. Contract has been. Okay, this new one. All right. It's tomorrow. And you fucking come up to me and say, Mario, do you have any weed? <laughs> <laughs> and I say, yes, I do. I'll hold on a minute. I'll be right back. 
hour later, I come back and say, okay, do you want what's in here or do you want what is in here? I'll pick option one. In here? Yeah. All right. Forget that. Let me run that back. I'm not afraid of one. I'm not no. afraid of two. No, I said I'm afraid it of four. No, I I'm said not afraid it wrong. of one, two, or three. I said, all right, strawberry. Three, two, or one. I'm going to give you a little bit. Of, I'm going to give you some out of here. I don't know how much yet. I'm afraid I'm of four give you some only. Or this. Which one? Um, option door number one. Still this one. Damn. Whatever number one is. I probably would have picked this one, too. I wouldn't have picked this one. This is my last option. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but when you don't smoke all day... And you hit this little bitch at night, all the way down to the end, you'll be high as a kite. I bet I would be. Are you gonna go get high or what? Am I free? Believe that? <laughs> I mean, I did want you for like another ten minutes, but I'm if you if you gotta go, you gotta go. I understand. I sit. What's up? Well, you should be productive with your time. I was waiting for you to roll that joint up. Uh, that's, that's my joint. Ah, that's why you didn't roll it up. Yeah, you thought I was going to ask for something. No. Well, that kind of defeats the purpose. No. That would just be like you rolling almost, up my I weed. I don't smoke back here. I don't smoke back here. Since that's when? That's Where are you from, Strawberry? I smoke over there. Where are you from? I'm from North Hollywood. Oh, okay. You don't sound like you have a North Hollywood accent. I don't have an accent. You definitely do have an accent. Well, I do? For sure. For show, for show. You sound like you're from Kentucky, like the Appalachian. Kentucky, Fontana? No, no, the Appalachian. That's a law. That's like five options of states, and I think you're one of Fontana, one yeah. of those five. Yeah. Are you? KKK. Yeah. The head of the KKK was found in Fontana, California. Oh. The Mongols were found in San Bernardino, Hell's Angels, and all they were just found in Southern California. I don't know. I'm not familiar with that. Mm. I get it. Mm. Fontana's KKK. I get it. I didn't know that. Yeah, 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 oh yeah. Oh yeah. You used to run with them? No, but that's where your family did. They're, 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 they're wizards and shit. All that shit started. How do you know all this? When you stay in Fontana for a while, you they te teach you about the shit. <laughs> you know whose house is over here? Whose house is over oh, here? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I watched a lot of television too. Documentaries on the Mongols and Hells Angels. They started San Bernardino. Oh, well, the Mongols started San Bernardino. Something like that. Anyway, interesting, interesting history. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. So that's where you're from? No, I'm from North Hollywood. You were born and raised here? I'm from North Hollywood. Uh, I, I'm, born, I'm born in San Bernardino but County. But you just don't look I'm like... I'm born in San Bernardino County. But you're raised here? But I'm from here. All right. What's it about North Hollywood that you love? Um, it's safe. You think so? Safe for who? Me. Uh, and so when you say safe... Vanity is fair, right? It, uh huh. All right, then. It's safe for me. Uh, you're using it in a different sense. In a, in a, in a, in a, I'm using my safety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I understand. You think it's safe for me? I think it's safe for everybody here. They can't. Be. That's impossible. Somebody's got to be in a minority. I don't see no around here. Johnny Actor, Johnny Wachter, they whacked my man. Remember yeah, him? Yeah, I heard about him. But yeah, yeah, yeah. You got yeah. somebody. You got to die. Some people, some people, well, it's got to happen sometime, but it, you don't see a homicide rate out here. But strawberry. What? But there's violence upon people, assaults that I don't have to be them. that don't have to be homicide. There's assaults happening every day. That's violence. Well, I've been assaulted out here, but I haven't been jumped out here. I've been, assaulted. I've been, hit. I've been hit a couple times. That's not safe. I've okay. That's not normal. That's not normal. I got hit in the bus. I got hit in the subway. Got... In North Hollywood. That's in not, North Hollywood. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. not safe yeah. though. Um, it doesn't seem safe by that definition. Compared to being buried in the desert, it is. It's safe for me out here. Trust me. No. I mean, yeah. Right. <laughs> it's all relative, right? It's just a lot. We're not saying Alberta. It's not the wild, wild west. This is not Jackson, Mississippi. It's, San Bernardino, you had a mass shooting, a mass, a mass crap at San Bernardino a few years ago. Four people were killed at that fucking at that banquet hall. That's not what I'm talking about, dude. That's, that's why, not safe. That's though. why I came out here. 
you put the worst shot there. I don't understand. What do you mean? It's, what do you mean? You understand? You said that there was a mass shooting, and that's why you. Oh, from where you left. Yes. <clears throat> Got you. Was it against a certain sort of people? It was terrorism. It was just terrorism. Against certain sort of people, or just. It was a mass shooting. Of regular people. I think it was. I think it was Mixed, mixed races that, were that happens all, all, all over though. It happened to be right where I was from. You don't think that would happen? It happened to be where I was from. It right. ha- it oh, oh, right, right, right. <laughs> It happened to be where I was from. Oh, shit. Yeah, I that, came sounds, here. that sounds scary. That sounds scary as fuck. It is scary as fuck. Like it happened, you know, within walking distance or a couple of minutes driving from where you, you know. That's where I was born. And where did that happen? I already told you where it No, I mean Santa like at a Walmart Indiana. or something. It happened at a hall. I think it was a oh, hall. Oh, all right. So kind of, or, it was, I think it was a wedding or something like that. It was a wah-wah-wah? I think it was a wedding. some kind of banquet hall. It would have been like 2000. Two thousand. I mean, I'm sure. Fourteen we, and higher. Two thousand fourteen and up. Somewhere around there. The thing Did is, you Google it, it'll pop up. They stopped recording it. What mass shootings? Why you show me that for? Waiting to see what else I'm gonna pull out. No, I'm not ready for anything. I'm ready for, I'm ready for more questions, actually. I do have more questions. Shoot. You came down in North Hollywood like 20 years ago or just 10 years ago? You know what I'm saying? I was born in San Bernardino, I'm from North Hollywood. But the mass shooting happened in the 2000s, yeah. which was like yeah. not that long ago. What high school did you go to? It doesn't matter what high school I went to. You didn't go to high school? I didn't graduate high school. Neither did I. I got my GED. I went to prison at 18 years old. I didn't get to go to high school. That's not why I didn't finish high school, but I didn't finish high school either. I dropped out. So did I, because I was in prison. So you would have finished? I would have finished, maybe. Yeah. Who knows? You never know. But I never know now. So by the time I got out... I mean, you do know. By the time I got out... I am a GD. And then you went to college? Tried college for a little bit, didn't like it. That shit was whack. It was whack as fuck. Right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what skill did you learn? I, well, I dropped out. I didn't learn any skills. No, I mean, like, after you dropped out of college, what skill did you learn in the street? Like, what Man, profession not, did you I learn? learn? I'm not a group in the street. I'm not from the street. Nah, I'm, I'm using my, that as I'm, a I'm euphemism. I'm residential. I'm <laughs> I'm in a okay. home, bro. I'm not Gap and Gang Gang. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me rephrase the question. Yeah, right. What sorts of jobs did you get after college? Warehouse jobs. Come again? I didn't hear you. A warehouse job. Oh, okay. Like like doing what sort of thing? Forklift operator. Yeah, I was going to suggest that. Okay. <laughs> and so you ran that for like how long? 10 years? Uh, a few years. Yeah. You were like a warehouse manager or foreman or something? I was, a, or you were, I was a receiving coordinator. Did you enjoy it? I did. I did. Did you steal from them? Mm-hmm. I never stole from my employers. His statute of limitations are over on theft. I know, but I never stole from my employers. Never. Who, okay, so who have you stolen from? Liquor stores. I was right. prison for robberies. For robberies. So you used to stick up liquor stores? Yeah, something like that. I was a driver. Were you successful? <laughs> Were you successful or no, by was, percentage? My cousin was killed during the robbery. Okay, let's put that aside. Yeah. Let's just say so that I was. I robbery stores. That way. But let's say that was an anomaly. What's an anomaly? Like a, a something that doesn't normally happen. That would right, be an anomaly. Right, right. Let's put that out of the. Okay. Right? Imagine that never happened, and then you did all those other quote unquote maybe alleged robberies. Were you successful then? By then? Or by that 
Well, after he, after, after he, that incident, I was It wasn't after. I was tired. We're saying before that, and that never happened in this Before that, I was in high school. So you didn't do a lot of robberies. I did at 18 years old. You didn't do a lot of robberies. No, I got caught right away. Okay. I did, we did it, we did, and one of them we Not died successful in. then. Well, the last one, we were not successful. Died, died you did like five or six, and that was it. I understand they did. It was less than 10. Mario, I understand interrogation questions, my friend. I've been interrogated by homicide. In jail. Okay, we could. I, okay, was, I mean, I know I can handle, I can handle interrogation questions, okay? I'm just trying to. In a homicide investigation, okay? Uh, well, me, Mario. I'm just curious. I'm 44 years old. I'm born in 1980, Mario. Okay, when's your birthday? 1980, January That's, 18th. Oh, you're a Capricorn? Yes. So am I. 40, Mario. My birthday is January 2nd. What year? 1980. So I'm 10 years more experienced. We were born... I'm older than you. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> My birthday is January 2nd, 1980. You're 44 years old? I am. You don't look 44 years old. Thank you, I guess. You look like you're 30. I was born a couple weeks before you. So you're older than me. I'm older than you. So I'm, I'm your contemporary. So why are you you're doing my it? peer. I'm your, you're my, yeah, your peer. Yeah, correct. Contemporary sounds <laughs> like we're in the same field. Same generation. We are in the same generation. You you watch we're, Al Bundy, Married with Children. Yeah. Love that show. Right. Crisscross, Jump, Jump. Yeah, right, right. right. But, so when Crisscross was jumping, where were you jumping? In Sacramento? Um, <laughs> or you're in no I was in San Bernardino County. San Bernardino. San Bernardino County. That sounds real rural and country and shit. Also, awesome. KKK, put that way. <laughs> Just put that way. Really? That's what I was doing in the crisscross. But you jumped At up. 12, your family was KKK people? Because you keep going back to that, so you 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 must mean you some truth. Me question, you... Hey, but your answer doesn't have to be KKK necessarily. You know, I'm sober, right? No. I'm sober, Mario. Is that good? I'm just, I'm just letting you know, I am sober. Is that good? What does that mean? What's the weight of that I mean, statement? I, I understand rhetorical questions. None of these questions are rhetorical. Okay. Okay, so okay. your family was involved? You're, from, you're not from our space, are you? I don't know where I'm from. You know where you're from? Where are you from? I'm from Earth. Okay, I, I assume was born I, in this planet. So I guess I, I was too. Where you were born at? On this planet. But it wasn't this planet. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Now you're on this planet. Okay. I see you, Mario. I see you, Mario. But my question is, what? was your family involved with KKK? Because at 12, it's not your choice. They were neighbors. Okay. It was close. Close. Very close. It was one of those things like, if you wanted to, you could have, certainly. And, and if you resisted, that was effort. Probably. I was too young to be in the KKK. I, was... <laughs> I don't. <laughs> well, that's not true. <laughs> At 12 years old, no. I had brown pride in my like an arm. I was in KKK. <laughs> well, you keep mentioning it, so I'm trying to figure brown this out. Well, you said, you said Kentucky. Kentucky's Fontana. That's for kids. <laughs> that's what you no, said. Okay. Kentucky. Let's you start. Uh, the question is At 12 years old, where were you jumping around? You said San Bernardino. 12 years old, I was playing baseball. It's in San, San Bernardino, Bernardino County. County. And okay, playing baseball. You were good, or what yeah, positions you play? Catcher, pitcher. Well, you were the catcher and the pitcher. I was catcher and the pitcher. Some things just don't change, huh? What just... <laughs> <laughs> happens that hard, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. So your family supported you in that, or you my did? Dad, my dad did, yeah. Until they, until they broke up in marriage, and my mom went. And girl. then it was weird to show up at games. And my dad fell apart, and he wouldn't take me to baseball anymore. Yeah, he going. wouldn't take you anymore. He, 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 yeah, exactly. And I got, I got a fucking guy. I started fucking getting crying with my cousins and shit. Started doing robberies with my cousins and shit. So baseball then, was taken away. Baseball was taken away from me when mom and dad split up. Yeah. You know what was taken away from me when my parents split up? Braces. You get braces on too. And then yeah, one of my parents just took them off when they broke. They're like, yeah, I'm not paying. It. We have a nice mom. Well, this happened when I was young. I was like 12. So that seems like a very like, cruel thing to take baseball from a child and to take braces out of their mouth. I had retainers when I was young. So did I. I had this thing that my mom would like, <laughs> turn this screw every day and it would put this giant gap between my teeth. 
it was like a pre pre thing. Like we had to do it ahead of time before the braces could be put on. Not good look. I could stick like my fucking pinky between my teeth at some point when I was twelve. It wasn't good for school. But uh, anyway, yeah, my parents like didn't get along anymore. Went to court. My dad got custody, and then he's like, "Yeah, take, well, I'm not paying for those braces, which is a weird thing." Because my mom had put them on and was paying for them, and then my dad got custody of me, and then he wouldn't pay for the braces anymore. Uh, so, and then four years after that, my brother was born. I was 16. I was playing tennis. I was running track. My brother was born. My dad's son, my brother, with his with my stepmom, and guess what they took then? My extracurricular activities. I couldn't. So it wasn't baseball, it was tennis and track. I couldn't do it anymore. I had to be home to take care of my little brother. So I know about being things being taken from me. So in high school, did you play baseball? No, because no. you didn't go to high school very much. No, yeah, yeah. You're a hoodlum by then. Yes. <laughs> you're, you're, you are not a hoodlum? Smoky Pot, Bone Thugs and Harmony came out. Bone thugs. Uncle Charles. Yeah, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, it's the first of the month. Hell yeah. I think I was feeling titties for the first time when Uncle Charles came out. Oh, hell oh, yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah, those are the times. So this you're describing like you were 16, 15, 16, 17. I was 14. 15, 15. Alright, fine. 14, 15. Bone thugs and harmony, I was 14, 15. And uh you were a bad kid. No, you were a good I kid. Bad the, okay, the stuff you were doing were like quietly not getting caught, sort of bad right, stuff. Right, so yes, neighborhood I, stuff. I, I, so some, no, that family business. Okay, oh, family business. Uh, family business, Robert. We're doing family. We're doing family together. All right, that's dope. That's cool, I guess. It's one who got killed. So Which we, was your cousin, was cousin at the robbery? This one. This is a cousin, eighty-two to ninety-eight. The year he died, I still went to prison. That was my high school graduation year. Three times. Pretty Ricky. Pretty Ricky. Uh, rest in peace, Little Ricky. Oh, Little Ricky. Little Ricky. Not Pretty Ricky. No, little, Ricky. little Ricky. He wasn't pretty? He was attractive. He was very attractive. Do you want to know what else I, we have in common? See this tattoo right here? That was my cousin who died in a motorcycle accident that I grew up with. We were in the, you know, the, grew up meaning uh, we took baths together in the same bathtub at grandma's house type stuff. Grew up with him. And Orange County. No, he just so happened to have the, uh, the same star tattoo on his body right here. And this is just my homage to him. You wouldn't know unless I explained it to you. But that's for my dead cousin. His birthday was April 6th. My sister's birthday is May 6th. Yeah, so we have that in common. Yeah. Oh, hey. Hey, guys. Am I Oh shit! I'm so sorry. I'm not. I wish, but I can't. What does that mean? You? Are... Nah, but she says she wishes, but she can't. Why is that? Makes you paranoid? Or you're? A, it's the law. Oh, all right. Yo, you know it's good not to smoke it. You know why? Save some money. Yeah. yeah. Save you some bread. LA? No, that's another. Every time? No, I can tell you what it means. What's it mean? Everything on my body has a pro, uh, some connection to a person, what is it? What to is a person, LA? to an actual person. So that is an homage to my first girlfriend that I fell in love with when I moved to California. She was from LA. She's from LA. So you got, you She's actually LA from LA Scranton. Yeah, sweet. Scranton? <laughs> Stratton, Ohio? Nah, oh. what's that shit up, up oh, north? Stratton, Ohio. Strand. Nah, the bad place. Oh, that place. Up north. Scranton. Or, uh, nah, 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 nah. What's this shit up? Stockton? Stockton. <laughs> Bingo. She's from Stockton, for real, for real. Oh. But, by, but she moved to LA, you know, by the time I got my hands on her. So anyway, this there's initials there too. If you notice, it's a V, an A, and a D. So this is my little homage when I fell in love. I went and got a tattoo. I often do that under some sort of emotional movement. I'll get a tattoo in the moment. 
So I went out to like Northridge and I got this shit done for like $150, which is a lot. Well, no, that's a lot of money for that thing. That's what I'm this saying. This thing was $100. Bucks. That's the thing. That's, it, you have a lot of money. <laughs> no, I agree. I totally agree with you. Yeah. How much was that one? This one? That's a $50. This was because it was, it, was it was a group rate. We all, a lot of got the same. A got, Groupon deal before Groupon. Yeah, the family got guys. Yeah, no doubt. Got the same tattoo for like the, five people at a time, 10 people. Yeah, so we got a group deal. You got it for like 10 bucks. Yeah, he, he was, he, the guy was busy forever doing his work, so he held it down there. So I think it was like 35 bucks for this one. Who paid for it? I did. 35 bucks, yeah. I paid for all of them. <clears throat> But I stopped at three. But when did you get that done, though? When he died. Huh? Right before I went to prison. Excuse me? And so in 1998. So when, when he died. I that year. Get, I didn't get caught that year. I didn't get caught when he died. So when did you get it done? What year? This is me. He passed away in February. Of? I died in February. 98, yeah. I went to prison in March. So during the time he died in prison, I got it done. So in 98. In 98, I got it done. All right. Just trying to figure out how long it's been holding up. It since looks nine, pretty good. Since 98. Because <laughs> I was 18. Well, <laughs> my, my first... Okay, so my best friend, he died in a car accident. And uh, I was like 21. And look how raggedy... You can see how raggedy that is. Yeah, Compared to really like the ink on this one, which was done by a Philadelphia artist that did... Uh, what's the girl? The white girl name? Amber Rose? Mm -hmm. Same tattoo artist real artists in Atlanta did you could tell the difference between good this was from Philly good not so good see how shitty that ink is house tattoo party house house party not good this old as that one 1998 okay. I got yeah bye Jenny you know I can just that's it your only tattoos yeah that's it I'm oh. not a big ink fan yeah that shit hurt didn't it <laughs> you're like fuck this and that was it. No, it hurts. But I kind of like the pain once I'm in it. And then I get on a run. I do like two or three. And then I'll stop. Until someone dies or I fall in love or I have a child or... I never got my son's name on me. It's not too late. I don't want to say no. I don't, I don't want his name on me. Yeah, fuck that nigga. <laughs> fuck that nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck those kids. Fuck Is that, you only got one son? I only got one child. Damn, and y'all don't really talk. You don't want to talk to me. Well, you're walking around in a skirt. Wow, that, wow. that takes a challenge to have a relationship with a dad like that. You do you recognize you, that? You know him though. It doesn't matter. I know that's a challenge. I'm a human. How you know? Am I wrong? You're wrong because. He What's was, the challenge? Why you're not talking? He didn't want to talk to me before I even came, started wearing a dress. What's the problem? I think I'm boring. Were you? I heard his mother was boring, but I still wanted to be with him. I mean, then I was a bad parent. I wasn't always, I didn't want to go out to clubs. I didn't like to, because I didn't have fucking boy money. I didn't have fucking, <laughs> take him to fucking Johnny So he, he thought you were boring once he, he was, was a boring. teenager. Yeah, he thought I was boring. He said, no, but he, you don't, like, call your relationship bad off a of bin. You know what I mean? What else happened? Like, there's something significant. He knows I'm like, you don't care. But, uh, okay, so you're saying you don't have a good relationship with your son because he thinks you're boring. Pretty much. All right. He's a girlfriend, has his own thing, do his own thing. So I there's not her, a... I took her to court, okay? Mm-hmm. Before I was even wearing, wearing dresses, I took her to court in a suit, okay? Mm -hmm. I only been out the, Fair I, enough. I only been out the closet for years, Mario. So I wasn't wearing girl clothes back then. Sure. Anyway. And then these problems have been way before that. Yeah. Got so, it. Um, took her to court. I got visitation rights through, through family therapy through Kaiser Behavior Health. Okay, so the only way I was ever see him because she was fighting it, she won't be seeing him because he's I, he, so he spent in and out of his life, which I kind of was, but I wasn't. So, two to yeah. court, two year long pro, it's a two year court process. I finally got visitation rights to see him through family court. We had to check in so often, and then fucking, um. We started seeing him at Baby House, right? And he was happy to see me. We were talking. We were all talking. He's like there. seven, eight. No, he, he was in ice. He was like a ninth grade. Shit. So he's like or, thirteen. No ninth grade. He was. A, he was in. Um, he's twelve. He's in middle school. He's so he's eleven. When Kobe Bryant died, okay, 
But how old was he though? This is important. Like, give me to finish my story. The year COVID happened, the COVID virus broke out. We don't know when your child was born though. Do you know what year your son was born? Yes. Do you want to share with? I'm not, when I'm done with my story, yeah. I just trying to place the age of the, when this was happening. When you were born, 2018 years old. He's 18 right now. He's graduated. Okay, so when you were getting custody, fighting for him, he was a junior high. So he was 11. No, wait, he was, he was 12 maybe. maybe. Anyway, about to hit puberty. Maybe. Do you know what your COVID happened? Yeah, 2019. Okay, 19 is uh, 2019. Oh, okay, is do 20- the math. Do the math. Oh, all right. Okay, minus five years from now. So it's five years, two years. Okay, 13. 13 years old. He was 13 years old. I'm an easy age. <laughs> yeah, right? You can do math. Okay. <laughs> oh, you were just spitting, but I. Okay. Follow, but that is it. Follow, okay. okay. So he was 13. So we're, so we're going through behavioral health. Was, I was seeing him every two weeks to behavioral health. His therapist, COVID broke out. Okay, big mess. They canceled therapy. You know, at the time COVID hit, they canceled everything. No more family therapy, so I couldn't see him no more. That's the only way I was able to see him. Cause she was, was meeting at this local place or wherever. Was a central place. Yeah, Kaiser Behavioral um, Health Department. I got it. At a day and time. With a therapist. This, yep, I got you. This was your time yeah, with him. With him. Yeah, yeah. They count and he's that. like 13. 13 years old. COVID hit. Now she, they just hold on. Let's back. Can I um, I just want to kind of linger on the on the on that counseling thing, if you don't mind. So it was like an hour long visit, two hours, three hours. You want to turn your thing around or what? The camera or what? No, it's cool. It's like two hours, three hours. The visits were like an the hour. Visit was, visits were an hour. And the counselor just sat in a corner and observed. Yeah. They were supposed to be a fly on the wall. They're asking questions. Well, how do you feel about your dad being here? How do you feel about him talking? Every time? Every time. They would start with some questions. Been calling you? We're not here. And yeah, he's been calling. You've been talking For to an him. hour? That was the visit? Or did they ever go and be a fly on the wall? And y'all could just be y'all. It was always that sort of thing. Well, yeah, that was for order. But do you understand my question? Until the therapist recommended one on ones. You got one on ones eventually. No, you're not listening, Mario. Co- s- COVID hit. They canceled the therapy. I couldn't see him no more. Oh, oh. Okay. So, so the, that only happened a couple Mario, times. Mario, Mario, Mario. Yeah. After that, she wouldn't. I couldn't see him anymore. Okay. She, he, she wasn't gonna come out of her way. All right, I got it. I'm sure. Okay, space. What you got? That COVID happened in 2019, and uh, your son was around 13 years old, and you stopped seeing him. Because why? COVID and the court order. And his mom and didn't want to COVID. do it. And his mom didn't want to do it. Uh, participate in uh, seeing him so, either with the courts or outside of the courts. Exactly, she still could have. Exactly. Yeah, she didn't want to participate and in he that. he concurred in it. He said, I agree. He said he didn't want to come to me either. So I, I stopped calling. I don't go. And it's been like that for the last five years? Yep, exactly. So... He doesn't know about you fixing your shirt every five minutes. Should he know? I don't. Do I know not, time he that's not a day? For, for me. Should either. I know how many times he jacks off a day? <laughs> so, I don't see how those are relatable. Well, I'm, glad, I'm glad you noticed. I'm this gonna, is what I'm, you're I'm, doing. I'm glad in you person. notice I'm changing my clothes. Every five minutes you change your clothes. Thank you. Yeah. So that doesn't have a place in the conversation. <laughs> what? That doesn't have a place in the conversation with your son, really. Because he's not really seen that. You don't have to. I, it's, it's more of a statement. I I'm let saying. him go. I don't give a fuck. No, you do give a fuck. That's why we're talking about it. That's why I'm over there chasing him around? No. I don't call him no more. I don't bother him anymore. He has to come see me. He wants to see me. I give up. I give up on him. That's fine. So. I'm not saying you don't. I don't have to explain anything to him. You will. Out of just. Mario. That's. Water the mm. bridge already. I mean, that, I mean, no, wait, 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 though. Strawberry. If he doesn't know about it, you act like it's been tough. He does know about it. Just through through rumor. He's, I've told him. Okay. I told him Let's I talk about that. What did you say? I don't want to talk about that. How did the conversation go? He accepts it. Doesn't mean he wants to hang out with me. He doesn't change. But he didn't want to hang out with you anyway, nothing. though. It doesn't change nothing for him. But he didn't want to hang out with he you anyway. He didn't see anything different, Mario. Right. Nothing changes. He still wants to see me then. He still wants to see me Based now. Based upon what his mom says. It has nothing to do with me being a girl. 
walk wearing dresses or changing five times a day. Nothing to do with the shit. Right, I got you. Okay? He's not keeping count. Nope. He doesn't know. He doesn't care. Well, he doesn't know. He no, he does know. He knows I'm transitioning. He knows, Mario. He doesn't care. He doesn't call and say, what time you dress a day? <laughs> I don't care what time he dresses a fucking day. He's doing his own thing. I'm doing my own thing. But do you think it's fair to say what? Uh, you guys don't have the best relationship based upon what maybe his mother has said about you? That's probably a lot of it to do with it. And not his own personal experiences with you? That's exactly what to do with it. You're right. It's you're been right. the lack of personal experiences, you're probably. Right. You're actually right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. So there's time to fix that. So when I, just to go back a couple minutes, you're like, hey, I don't care. You got other things to worry about right now. Right? Exactly. So I feel you on that. <laughs> but at some point, you will care. You should care. And I think you do care. He knows where to find me. Yeah, but it's not his job to find you yes, right it now. Is. Nah, he's yes, too it young. Is. He's too young. I'm he's 18. Done, Mario. No. I'm done searching for him. All right. I'm not going to go once in a while, call once in a while, but as far as trying to well, search then that's him, enough, though. seek him out, I'm not going to do that. I'm done. Hey, but I you... took him to court. I tried to do all this shit. They don't want to go with it. He, I here, think history's on I'm, your side. I'm, I'm not going to I'm not gonna go back to court, go through all this fucking drama well, again. Okay. He's already 18 years old. He's a grown-ass adult now. What I'm saying is I think history's on your side with that. Right? Tomorrow, I'm happy. Right. Listen to me. I'm happy. What? Okay. I'm about very, what? Very, about very, you're... very happy with my life, Mario. About what? You're happy with your life as a whole? Yeah, I'm happy right now, Mario. Is that okay to be happy? Yeah. Thank you. Let me be happy then. I'm not stopping your happiness. You don't see me around here stopping strawberries happiness. No, but you're, 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 you're acting, acting like it's weird to change five pounds a day. It is. Most people don't change five times a day. Having drugs in your in a pipe in your bag is weird. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> okay. Agreed. Okay, I'm not having drugs on me. Because you don't have your bag with you. If you had a bag with you. I don't have any. I don't have any other on me, bro. I mean, for any human being to change five times a day is excessive. Unless you're a, a fucking I, entertainer. I Maybe it's mental health. Maybe I have an illness, Mario. You think about that? Before you want to diagnose me? I'm not diagnosing you. You're trying to diagnose me? No, I'm not. Maybe I'm mentally sick, Mario. I remember I have gender dysphoria. I don't identify my own gender, Mario. Start with that one. When you're saying... Ma- <laughs> when you're saying... Ma- I identify with females. When you're saying maybe... What? There's not really maybes in those, huh? You don't really mean maybe. You could say everything again and just take the maybe away and it would be true. I don't follow you. You said maybe you have gender dysphoria. So you do have gender dysphoria. I do not obviously, well, obviously I have gender dysphoria. That's not obvious. Then what is it? Not if obvious. If it's not maybe, then it's obvious. I don't know that it is 